Hey developers, welcome back to Epifalev and this is a full stack Laravel VGS application development tutorial series and we have come along uh, a long way. So I really hope every one of you are really good at this COVID period and enjoying this digital series. I have a gift for you guys and this gift is that um, I'm going to give you this uh, uh, full stack Laravel view front end which I wanted to use for myself but yeah I will make it available uh, the link will be available in the video description and also one more thing since I'm, I'm trying to focus and commit uh, more and more time on making and producing a lot of cool stuff and premium level stuff so I do I just don't want to develop um, uh, just project I just want to develop a complete project with uh, a serious level of design work as well and also uh, with all kind of stuff covered so this tutorial I could not use repository pattern and a lot of other advanced level concepts but yet I try to uh, cover as much as I po uh, as possible but in next uh, tutorial many of my uh, subscribers suggested to go with um, uh, e-commerce development not the chat development so I'm uh, I have also made a very good uh, e-commerce design which is really really premium level because we have this design uh, available in our marketplace which is not published yet but I will work on that design and yes, yeah, so since I'm committing a lot of time and giving a lot of time making um, YouTube videos and hopefully I will be making a lot of cool videos as well so yeah so I will give you a, a, a uh, link below the, the video description so that you can buy me a coffee so it's completely up to you never mind okay so now let's move on and uh, set up the uh, uh, set up this uh, layout completely okay so that we can get the a real one okay so let's get started cool we have this blog and uh, let's open this index.html okay now what we have to do is we have to come here and we have public and let's make a folder CSS and we don't need any folder for JavaScript because we don't use any JavaScript at all and here we can make a uh, CSS file not here let's actually use the, our editor perfect so oh, okay it's not it's my project plugin development project I was doing before I was making this tutorial so my work is done for now so I'm making a tutorial so that you guys can learn okay. Okay, where is my folder? Public CSS. Okay, so let's make it new main.css. Okay, and new page source. Let's see the page source. How many files do I have actually? Bootstrap. I don't know if I really need this stuff. Come on, main responsive okay I have quite some files so instead of making just one file let's create a multiple file and you know how you how to do the mixing so that every file is compiled to one file so that's not a big issue so main.css so let's take all the CSS from main.css and let's create another file called common.css and paste it here what do we have next do we have anything to deal with I don't know but let's use it uh, anyway responsive we will try to add responsive things responsive dot CSS and definitely we will be copying and pasting all the stuff so it's not a big deal for us anymore and uh, now let's move on to this is the CDN, so we don't have to deal with these things. Now mm, we have partials. Okay. Now let's go ahead and
do the compiling. Do the npm install. I didn't uh, install anything. Block front end. Okay. Here you go. This was our admin panel. So we will take some code from our admin panel to here. So let's move on to the webpack first. And if you don't, if you guys don't know what is webpack and how it wo all works together, then please go ahead and watch my uh, previous videos because you will get a lot of uh, information from there. So let's make it in a sequence for, okay, we have a bootstrap file remaining. <coughs> sorry guys for this unexpected sound. Really sorry. Okay, in bootstrap file, we have all this bootstrap. So from where we do start. Obviously, we start from Bootstrap and we copy up to this part. And then after Bootstrap, we have Partial. So let's clean Partial. Let's take another one and then after that we have common and main. So common and main and then we have responsive.css. I hope I spelled it correct. Okay and it will go to the all.css. Perfect now let's compile uh, everything now. Let's run npm run dev. Otherwise, it will not compile. One more thing is that we have to use versioning so that our code is versioned. Uh, the CSS file is also versioned. I hope this is the way it is done. Again, run npm run dev so that we can get a version number. In not in package.semi.json, we get a version in okay. First, let's check out our CSS file. Here we go. All the CSS has been compiled to all.css. Okay. So that's really pretty. And composer package. I forgot the file name. Anyways, never mind. Now, what we are going to do is that we are going to copy paste this script and uh, let's see if we have public this we don't have yeah we do have app dot this so we have to go to the um folder dot blade dot php and instead of this one we need to in import this one and for header we have one CSS file only so we could use the mixed version in here as well it should be CSS all dot CSS perfect now let's run the project and see if we have all the things correctly full stock frontend.localhost and do the page source. Perfect! We have the version number here. 
and all the CSS files which is really awesome and version number with CS uh, JavaScript file so we have loaded all the set perfectly which is awesome now what is our ta uh, task we don't need this one we just need to uh, take the home page let's stay open this home page here did I have it open anywhere Let's remove all this tab because keeping tab is really irritating for me. And let's go to the home page in the delayed. And keep stay here and then go to the let's see what is the structure here. Body that says header. Mm. Okay, I think this should be the menu. Sorry, but I don't have to cut it actually. I can simply copy it into the nav top blade. So copy it here and check it here. There we go. We have our navigation here so pretty and it's okay we don't have a logo here right at the moment so it can stay in T but let's add a logo this is our ap5.com this is our website our marketplace website is coming let's take a logo from here Where is the logo? Here is the logo. Okay, I think I should take this one instead. Not to. The black one. Yes, you should take the black one so that it's visible. Okay, so I have the logo at the top now. Now, uh, what should I do here? Is yes, this is banner and body and footer? So let's take this footer. See, it's really simple and post it here and let's take everything inside here and see what we have perfect awesome so okay wait one thing is not correct we copied the header as well so let's remove the header and then we are good awesome so I think you guys uh, know how to do this setup and from next video onward I don't have to do all of them so for next video onward I will be making all these things dynamic and yeah the Laravel stuff will start from the next video thank you guys and if you uh, like this video please go ahead subscribe share my videos and help us to um, help us so that we can make more need more videos for you guys and yes um, if you want you can buy us a coffee and the link will be in the video descriptions thank you guys have a nice day